Okay, in this video, I will explain three things. First, what is diagonal difference? Or second, how to solve diagonal di uh, difference with math? Third, we are going to write the code. You can check the timestamps in the description or in the comments section, or you can see them right now on the screen. Enjoy! Hi guys, I'm put here from my lab YouTube channel and in this video we will solve diagonal difference, okay? First, what's the di what's diagonal difference? Diagonal difference is basically let's check over here. Diagonal is basically going from the upper corner in the in a one side to the other bottom corner in the other side, okay? So we would go from here to here or from here, let's see how it's going to be in numbers. Let's go down a little bit. Okay, let's see th this for example. If we would apply diagonal over here, we would go one, five, nine. Okay, this is the first diagonal. The second diagonal would be three, five, nine. Cool. Cool. Then we would find, we will find, or we want to find the difference between those diagonals. And as we can see here, uh, left to right diagonal would be one. 5 and 9 which is equals 15 and then the right to left diagonal would equal 3 plus 5 plus 9 which equals to 17 then we gonna find the difference by using the minus symbol okay and the difference is 2 cool now that we have known what's diagonal let's jump into the sample or the example they gave us Okay, this first number would tell us uh, like the dimensions of the this array. Okay, it's three by three, and here it's three. If it's four, it would be four by four, and so on. Okay, we have here three by three, uh, three by three matrix. Matrix is basically multi-dimensional array. This is what's matrix. Okay, besides that, uh, eleven. We would go apply this over here as we said uh, left to right diagonal, which is basically 11 plus 5 16 plus negative 12 would equal to as you can see where is it would equal 4 okay as you can see over here and then the other diagonal would equal or would be 4 plus 5 plus 10 which would equals to 19 so here the first diagonal would equal 4, the second diagonal would equal 19. Cool. Then we'd find the difference using the minus symbol. 4 minus 19 would equal 15. And he wants the absolute value. Let me show you. He mentioned it above over here. There, okay, here. There, absolute difference. Okay. So, yeah. Now that we know, we've known. Okay, let me show it to you in the diagrams just a moment we will give this input we're gonna split it into two arrays the first one is 11 5 and minus 12 which is basically those three numbers and we'd sum them up using the sum function we'd get 4 the other diagonal which is basically 4 5 and 10 we would get 19 then we'd say 19 minus 4 or 4 minus 19 whatever okay 19 minus 4 would equals 15 which is the result basically okay 15 cool now let's write this in code okay the, the cursor is a little bit off because I am zooming just so you can see everything clear anyway let's start writing code first we want to get the three elements of the right, uh, left to right diagonal okay how we are going to accomplish this we will first write a for loop okay and we gonna loop through the but basically range we can write here an integer for example 10 and it would loop oops what up, okay uh, if i wrote 10 over here it would loop uh, 10 times if i wrote 20 it would loop 20 times okay i want it to loop as much or as many as the elements or the, the array this array we have over here as much elements there which is basically the number that comes in the array how we are going to find this well basically I'm gonna do length 
I'm gonna use the link which is link function and I'm gonna pass the array what I should get right now is basically the length of the array over here okay would equal 3 for example if we uh, if we apply it to this to this sample we have over here okay because it's 3 by 3 matrix okay and then we would have the range uh, function which basically would uh, would loop for as much as or as many would loop as many as the length of this array okay this was crazy man anyway so if you would print uh, okay if we let's say we print array and we put zero over here okay we should get the first uh, okay let's first before all of this let's see what is the type okay let's pass over here and let's print array and see what are they giving us when the code okay debug output we have a list okay and inside this list we have list number one list number two list number three and inside the list number one we have three numbers three numbers three numbers so if we want to access this number we would say we want the first the first list okay the first list which is this and then the first element and as we know in programming the first index is zero so we would go over here okay give me a moment okay we have a for loop over here and uh, let's loop through the array okay let's try and just let me explain this for a moment we will need a counter okay so let's create one and make it equals to zero so now if I draw it wrote counter over here it would uh, give me the first index of the first list which is basically the first list okay so now with that code it's going to give me this this array okay I want to get the 11 what would I do is get also the zero index of the first array okay so now I would get this list and then I would get this item this item cool okay now let's see if I print this it should print number 11 three times let's see okay first time it prints this and then okay cool just this this uh, we don't need this anymore so now we wanna increase okay we have this those numbers this this element this elements index is 0 and 0 this elements index is 1 and 1 and this elements index is 2 and 2 so if we simply just increase counter by one it would give us all the elements of the left to right diagonal easily so let's try this run code let's see okay 11 5 and minus 12 11 5 and minus 12 which is exactly what we want now what I want is to store those in an array okay instead of printing them okay so here I'm gonna say lift okay lift lift array and make a put a bend to this item which would add it to this list and here I will create this lift array and we also would need right sorry right array cool so if I came over here and print lift array and drunk the code 
it should give me a list of the left to right diagonal. Let's see. Cool. Just perfect. Okay. 11, 5, and minus 12. 11, 5, and minus 12. But now we have them in a separate list or array. Okay. Now, what we want to do is to create this same for loop but for the right to left diagonal okay we need we will need to add uh, an additional thing but let's see how we are going to accomplish this okay we are going to create the same the same for uh, for loop range length array okay but here we are going to say right array to append array and there is something here we will change but give me a moment okay so if I wrote counter uh, let's see what we what the, the index we want we want this number and this number and this number and if we would get those index it would be uh, 0 and 2 1 and 1 2 and 0 okay so if we would if you would notice if you had noticed it would be something like this zero and two one and one two and zero so the first index would increase by one okay so zero one and then two the other number two one zero it decreases by one so if you would replace the first index to be counter which is basically would increase we would make it increase by one and here we would want another counter that decreases by one so we would create counter two and make it equal to zero but instead over here counter would we would make it increase by one counter two we would make it decrease decrease by one now if we would run this this would be a problem because counter by the end of this loop it would equals 2 so we would need to reset it to be 0 run the code and now we should let me add a print over here to print the, the right array right array okay run the code Sorry, okay, so I forgot to add here counter 2. So now if we run the code, we should get print the, the left diagonal and the right diagonal. Here we have the left diagonal. Okay, the right diagonal is messed up. Why? Okay, we want this code, or okay, we want this to, to start counter 2, we want it to start from the last so we want it to start from 2 and decreases by 1 and sometimes the matrix could be its dimension could be 4 or 5 or 6 so we want to get the length array length but minus 1 so now if we run the code we should get two lists that are so 11 5 and minus 12 11 5 and minus 12 4, 5, and 10, 4, 5, and 10. Almost done. So, just at the end over here, we would first sum, okay, we would return sum, or the, the, the result of summing up all the elements of the left array minus sum, okay, all the elements of the right array but we want those to run inside the absolute function which is which removes the negative numbers so we don't get negative numbers now i suppose to be successful if i run the code perfect let's submit it and try it on more than test case and just what we expected Thank you for watching and uh, if you want more tutorials, okay, I am launching a Python course very soon, okay, so do, don't forget to press the subscribe button, like, and uh, 
see you in the next video.